weather with the KX News Storm Team. 546 on this Wednesday morning. Welcome back. We were talking about our favorite types of pasta. What's your favorite type of pasta as far as like the, the noodle? I, I don't know. I just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you're honest. Yeah. You know, like bow ties or rigatoni? They're or all good. Fusilli or rotelle? Or they're, they're all good. Oh, all right. Yeah. So so when when you go to a restaurant and you get to choose your own pasta, what shape of noodle would you choose? I haven't been to a restaurant you get to choose your own pasta in probably When, when you go years. to a grocery store and you have to pick I also a, a box I don't of think pasta. I bought, I don't think I bought a macaroni is usually what I buy, like okay, already in okay, the box. Okay, so okay, so macaroni. So. Elbow macaroni. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go with elbow yeah, macaroni for stone. I knew I'd get it out of them. Yes, that's right. Well, <laughs> just like all the pasta types, we're going to see every uh, precip, precip right. type today. Oh, nice transition. Uh, we can see on our weather alerts today, uh, right now, a wind advisory down to the uh, uh, south, southwest. That's 30 to 50 miles per hour uh, out to the east. You still have that flooding. Uh, seeing now a winter storm watch out there to the northeast. We're having a winter weather advisory to the northwest. Uh, if you're in the area with the winter weather advisory, uh, two to seven inches still uh, what's your outlook to have. And then that winter storm watch uh, up to the northwest west up until Thursday 7 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, that's going to be uh, 6 to 10 inches uh, of snow plus that wind's really going to make blowing snow an issue uh, there as well. Satellite radar right now is showing uh, rain down to the southeast. We'll have this band all the way across the state now turning into snow as it starts to reach the northern portions and with heavy snow up to the northwest just a little bit ago starting to dissipate but you're still seeing light to moderate snow for many up there. We'll continue to see that through the day. And we'll have to keep an eye on this could turn to rain at some point during the day uh, and then that may lower your amount of snow you see, but right now is showing mostly snow falling from the sky. Temperatures right now uh, ranging from the lower 30s all the way to the lower 40s will continue to warm up during the day. Uh, the coldest area is going to be that northwest corner as we get through the afternoon. Wind speeds and directions 5 to let's go 35 miles per hour from the east uh, and then as we get out to the west actually winds start to change directions as they're sort of spinning around that low pressure system that's bringing us this weather. Uh, that's going to make our directions throughout the day really all over the place out in the west portion of the state, but it's also going to pick up those winds as that low pressure continues to move through the state sitting right over uh, north of Williston. It's going to really pick up those winds in the afternoon down to the uh, southwest uh, Dickinson down to Bowman Henniger uh, up to 45. 50 miles per hour is not out of the question as well. Most of the state going to see 35 to 40 miles per hour as well. As we get through Thursday, uh, that's where we're going to be seeing or Thursday morning. Uh, winds will calm down out to the east in the central portion. Still have heavy winds out to the west, and those winds really pick up as that low starts to move out uh, to the east again to that southwest corner of the state up to 40, 45 miles per hour. So just a windy a few days down there to the southwest and across the state going to be seeing heavy winds. Uh, through this afternoon, a little bit warmer to the south. We'll see those 50s, maybe some 60s up to the north though are going to be sitting mostly in the 30s maybe some 40s as well precision cast through the rest of the day is showing us that low spinning up in this northwest corner that's going to bring snow could bring some rain as well to that northwest corner rain across the western portion of the state today we could stay dry even see some sun to the south central and even up to the north as we get through thursday morning uh, that low will maybe dry us out a tad bit but by the afternoon it starts to turn into snow as it pulls in some colder air uh, we'll see snow across the whole region thursday night into friday morning morning into probably Friday afternoon. Snowfall accumulations with this system is showing one to three inches across the whole east uh, down to the south central down to the southwest. We have this small area of three to five just south of Minot all the way up to Canada and then Minot right on that really five to eight inch mark could see eight to ten up in that northwest corner. Your Dickinson three day forecast got us at 40 today, 35 tomorrow, 33 for your Friday. Williston 38 today, 35 tomorrow, 34 by Friday. Your Minot seven day forecast shows that that drop in temperatures as well down to the 30s. We'll recover by the weekend though as we exit the weekend in the 40s and the 50s. Another rain chance starts up back up as we start next week though. Uh, Bismarck shows the same thing 40s, 50s, 30s, and then we'll get back up to the 40s for the weekend. All right. Thank yes. you very much, Stone. And there's plenty 